All right, Larry Kruger here at Levi Stadium with a little instant reaction video from from uh, practice day number three. Um, instant reaction video was that Brock Purdy had a nice bounce back today. He looked strong. Uh, he looked poised. He looked uh, in command. He had a couple dimes. Brock Purdy looked really, really good. He, um, you know, he, he, he today he, he had two or three passes that were absolutely on the money. A couple of them, CMC, maybe the highlight of the day was Purdy hitting Debo on a, on a great pass. So overall, I thought Brock looked really, really good. Also today, um, Sam Darnold had a, had a tremendous day. I mean, Darnold, um, I had him down as four of, four of seven, and he had just a couple flat dimes. He had one to Ray Ray McLeod where he hit him on the sideline, and it was just 35 yards down the field, and he just dropped it in the bucket. Um, right to him. So Darnold looked fantastic today. And then, um, you know, this was a bad day for Trey Lance. I mean, Trey Lance did not look good. Uh, I had him down for like one of four. He might have been two of five. Some people said that he had a second completion to Braden Willis. I didn't see that. The only completion I saw was one that he completed to Tay Martin. Um, but, you know, Trey's body language was just so poor um, that that was that stood out. You know, he just looks like he's losing confidence. And if you said to me, you know, how does this quarterback race look? Brock's getting all the reps with the ones. Darnold looks like he is firmly entrenched now. Well, honestly, firmly entrenched. That might be putting that may be putting it too strong. But Darnold looks like he's pushing ahead of Trey for that number two job. And Trey looks like um, he's questioning himself. He had a pass to Braden Willis. He threw it threw it into the turf. Uh, he had a couple incompletions in a row that were, you know, bad. I mean, one that he overthrew the guy, one that was behind. Um, and it's not just that he threw the incompletion. Incompletions happen. It's how he reacted to it. He looked down. Um, he seemed to be questioning himself. His body language was not good. There were also a couple plays where he missed windows and he took off running. One of the times I heard somebody yell, um, you know, throw the ball. Um, so not a good practice for Trey Lance and we talked to him afterwards and he seemed like he he seems like he's losing confidence and I'm not sure you know if it's just the fact they've got four quarterbacks or that you know Purdy is is here and he's now the number one guy or if he's feeling the heat um, or if he's just a young quarterback who's not that refined and is not ready for this competition but um, right now uh, he he looks like he's falling behind Sam Darnold for that number two quarterback job. You know, Purdy's the one, and now, you know, it appears that Darnold is overtaking Lance for the number two job. Now, we'll see where it goes. They don't even put the pads on, I think, until Monday. But, um, you know, that's what it looks like right now. I mean, it looks like Trey's fighting it. Um, some really bad incompletions. He had two, one air mailed, one behind the receiver. He had Braden, Braden Willis in the flat. Um, he's wide freaking open, throws it into the turf. Uh, the, some of the body language of the other coaches and players and is not good. Some of the body language from Trey today was just awful. So I'm rooting for the kid, but it didn't, it didn't look good today. Um, the other thing that stood out is, as far as instant reaction is that um, Brandon Allen's deep ball is just, it just ha consistently hangs. You know, and he sprays it. He, he, he doesn't put the ball on the receiver beyond 18, 18 yards, 20 yards. Any pass play at all that's down the field by, you know, any 20 yard pass play down the field, it's just in the vicinity of the receiver. It's not on the receiver's hands. So his downfield accuracy looks really, really subpar. A um, couple other things that stood out in, in just instant reaction. Elijah Mitchell looks looked really fast today. You know, Tay Martin, who worked with Trey at, at TCU, looks like he's taking it to a, to another level. We got a good look today at um, at uh, the defensive end, Robert Beal. He had a nice sack where he dipped the shoulder, flattened the quarterback, and you know got a sack, touched the quarterback down. Samuel Womack and Deshaun Jameson are also showing good coverage ability. Uh, no question, the competition at, at corner is really solid. Um, 
And yeah, so those are the takeaways today for the most part. Ronnie Bell looks like he's kind of kind of nervous. You know, he looks like a lot of rookie receivers. He looks like he's on like mental overload. So like Ronnie Bell's got great ball skills. He's one of the best, most dependable handed receivers in the entire Big Big Ten this year. Um, and yet, and he looked great in the mini camp. Uh, he looked great in the OTAs. Now you're introducing, you know, all these thoughts in his head, and he just he had a couple of just uncharacteristic drops that really kind of surprised me. So that's the instant reaction. Darnold's looking good. Purdy's looking good. Lance and, and Allen did not look good. Lance looks like he's questioning his confidence right now. And uh, Ty Davis Price had a fumble. That wasn't good to see at all. Uh, Keith Ishmael fumbled another snap. That wasn't good to see. Um, but we're seeing some good things. Jalen Graham, Robert Beal, Tay, Tay Martin, Elijah Mitchell, uh, Spent, uh, Samuel Womack, Spencer Wagey, um, Deshaun Jameson. Those, all those guys look good. So those, that's my instant reaction from camp. They're off tomorrow. They're back on Sunday. We're getting kicked out of here because we got the Taylor Swift concert coming up tonight. But um, go Niners, and we'll see you on Sunday.